Ezra, 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 are you ready yet? Just a second. Don't give me the attitude. That's one small step for Dan, one giant leap for mankind. No, the line is one small step for man, man with an M. Whatever. That's one small step for Dan the man, one giant leap for mankind. Cut. Never mind, just roll the opening. Whatever. Hey, thanks for watching this video that I really didn't want to make. Hope you liked the low budget opening. I know, that was the space shuttle. So what? We don't have money for a Saturn V, you understand? And even if we did, we wouldn't waste it on debunking the moon landing debunkers. But as long as we're all here, welcome to the moon fakers. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Back in 1962, somewhere in Texas, I don't really know where, this guy with the best monogram ever promised to send men to the moon. Things didn't work out so well for JFK, sorry. But in 1969, 50 years ago this week, NASA got it done. Apollo 11 would go on to inspire hundreds of millions of people around the world, as well as a really annoying Britpop band. And of course, wherever you have heroes, that champion of American can-do-ness, Hollywood, would be there too. Not bad for a moon landing that never happened. That's right, it was all faked in a Hollywood studio and directed by Stanley Kubrick. I never gave these stories much credence, but particularly in view of some of the other things that have happened, I find them difficult to put out of my mind. Or at least that's what every millennial with a webcam would have you believe. I don't believe it. This guy has 7 million plus views for his gibberish. I'll be lucky to get 37. And that's only if my sister and her family watches. We never landed on the moon. It was all fake. And the same holds for every wingnut with a YouTube channel and a political axe to grind. So Alex, you think they definitely went to the moon, that just the footage is fake? Is that what you think? Yeah, you can't bring film back to the Van Allen radiation belt to get spots all over it. Right, but if we don't have film, what would lead us to believe that they definitely did it? Because they had RCA cameras. Well, we, there was they trashed all the telemetry There's some amazing data. footage, right? There's amazing footage because of them circling the moon. Because they put a moon. fake launch in space in case the real mission died. But let's step back for a second. Ezra, who said, when you lie, Tell a lie so big that people won't believe you had the nerve to make up something so stupid. They'll have to believe it. Um, I have, I have no idea. Leave me out okay, of this Okay, never mind. Just Google it. So, back to this non-landing thing. What proof is there that man never set foot on the moon? Okay, let's start with the flag-waving theory. Conspiracy theories everywhere. How can a flag flutter when there's no wind on the moon? Good question. The answer is inertia. And no, I'm not going to explain it to you because I'm too angry. You can Google that too. I don't believe you. Really? You want more proof? Where do I start? Give me patience. Where are all the stars in this picture? Remember 35 millimeter film? No, of course you don't. The answer lies with film exposure. Exposed for the stars, and the astronauts would have been washed out blurs of white light. And we'd be sitting here talking about alien abductions. Sure, they filmed it, but to broadcast it live from the moon, like that seems oh, pretty difficult. And this is my favorite. Back in 1969, broadcasting a TV signal from the moon seemed really difficult, right? Oh yeah, couldn't imagine doing it. You mean more difficult than launching a 35-story rocket? A rocket whose weight was more than 90% fuel with the explosive power of a nuclear bomb? You mean that kind of difficult? Give me a break. Anywho, I'm not here to tell you to believe everything your government tells you. But these moon landing nut bars are wasting a lot of bandwidth. And I'm so over it. And so I think it's only right that we end by quoting the ever quotable Donald Trump. Moon fakers, fake news, sad, so sad. And the only thing sadder than that is my Trump impression.